Cloud Native Poster Series with Steve Rada of Sharewell. Cloud Native SD WAN Analytics Machine Learning Agile Development and Testing Edge Computing DevOps Service Management Enterprise Architecture Hybrid IT Neural Networks Cybersecurity Serverless Low Code No Code Big Data Integration You're listening to the IntelliX Podcast where we bridge modern and legacy technology and untangle the buzzwords to help business and IT leaders connect the dots to achieve digital transformation. Disclaimer, the perspectives expressed in this show are the independent opinions of the hosts and or guests and do not necessarily reflect the position of Intellix or any companies mentioned here. And now, your host, Jason English. Welcome to the Intellix podcast. Uh, We're here today discussing the cloud native uh, development poster that we've put together and Sharewell is one of the proud sponsors of this new asset that we've put out. I'm joined today by uh, Steve Rada, the Chief Operating Officer of Sharewell. He joined Sharewell in 2017 as Chief Product Officer and has previously served in a variety of leadership roles relating to product development, support, professional services, and strategic business planning. Welcome, Steve. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jason. I think a lot of our audience might already be familiar with Sharewell, but can you give us a, a little background on, on what you do there? Yeah, sure. Sure. Sharewell is an enterprise service management tool working in uh, the IT, ITIL type of space. And we provide service management for our customers, allow them to automate their business, their workflow, you know, ultimately for, for all of their customers, whether that be internal or external. Yeah. And I'm kind of curious, how do you see Sharewell fitting into the cloud native vendor landscape right now? Yes, you can think of Sharewell as the space in between, you know, all of the different kind of tools that a company might use, cloud native or otherwise. Uh, They all need to talk to each other and they all eventually end up with a human in some sort of form. And that's really where Sharewell takes over, uh, you know, amalgamating all the information that comes from the various tools that are used and putting those into something that a human can take action on or down the road, audit, validate, and check down the line as the workflow kind of goes on. Yeah. And I think a lot of people in the space right now, they, they look at cloud native and they just immediately think, okay, I need to do Kubernetes or I need to adopt AWS or something like that. Right. They just think I'm going to move my systems to cloud, to a cloud computing type paradigm, but it's really not that simple. Is it right? No, and it's a, it's a problem that's plagued technology for a while, right? It's the, you know, I have a hammer, you know, what, what do I do with this <laughs> type mm-hmm. of thing? Um, when really, you know, you should be asking, what are you building and, you know, how are you going to get there? Yeah, and what's interesting about Sharewell is you have this aspect of the ITSM, but you're also kind of building workflows. Can, so can you could describe how application style work workflows are being built with your Yeah, sure. So I, I, I always I probably overuse this example, but if you think of onboarding um, in a company and, and kind of traditionally the way that companies have gone about this, right, is they, they think of onboarding as one department or one area that that happens in, but that's simply not true, right? Like it happens all the way throughout the business. Like when, you know, a new employee gets hired, you obviously have recruiting, you know, then there's the paperwork that happens. So there's legal involved with that. And then obviously equipment equipment gets provisioned and things like that. So, mm-hmm. you know, we, we at Sharewell are trying to think more about, you know, how do we solve these problems horizontally as opposed to vertically in departmental-based solutions. And all that starts with the workflow and the actual business process of what people are trying to accomplish, right? So, you know, from the onboarding perspective, it's simply how do we get that employee, you know, at the company as, as you know, quick as humanly as possible, as efficient and as happy, you know, with their customer services going in there, you know, and then we allow you to build on top of that. And as far as it relates to cloud native, I mean, there's many, many different solutions that are going to play a part of, you know, that onboarding process as well. You have the work days and ADPs of the world. You can provision hardware from many different, you know, cloud native type of applications these days. Share will kind of is that layer, that glue in between that stitches all of those things together, you know, from an automation perspective and from just a tracking perspective as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, in addition to the real assets that are involved, there's a lot of virtual assets and it's all become sort of munched together into one management view. Yeah. And that creates a lot of challenges. I mean, what would you say are some of the other challenges that you've seen your customers facing on their journey to the cloud? 
Yeah, I think some some of the bigger ones are, you know, a lot of our customers are in a transitional phase, you know, kind of that digital transformation buzzword that, that you hear out there. So so yeah. they, they have a bunch of tools, cloud native tools or otherwise, you know, and then there's gaps within the process because they might not have started from, you know, what is the workflow or what's the best way I can provide the service to my customers. So, you know, how do you get across those gaps, right? And how do you, how do you bridge those two things? That's the thing that our customers uh, run into a lot, as well as, you know, maybe, you know, his, some historical preference to how these things actually get done and accomplished. You know, the mentality of this is how I've always done it, you know, type of, type of things. These are things that really, really hang up our customers. And I think anybody trying to go through that digital transformation. Yeah. So, you know, what would you say are some of the challenges in trying to support, you know, these newer architectures that you're coming across now that are different than the old legacy days that we used to support? Yeah, for sure. So many of our customers still have legacy and new ones. And so that again, too, becomes the gap that they have to cross from these things. Right. But, you know, I will say it depends on the business, right? If you're a software development shop, there's extra challenges with trying to support the cloud native, you know, scaling up, scaling down kind of approach to things. But as, as it pertains to most businesses that are out there, you know, really the biggest challenge is how do you get data from one system to the next? And then how do you relate that data across to answer your actual business problems that you're going to come across with? So, you know, with, with anything cloud native, you give up control, right? You give up control of versions, accessibility testing of, you know, your own ability to scale or not scale and all that's kind of just baked into the, the subscription price that you're paying, right? So, you know, that's one thing I would I would recommend to most folks is as they're, you know, making that move to make sure you know where, you, where your data is, the privacy of that data, you know, can you get access to it? And then more importantly, how can you piece together all of those parts to, to answer something and, you know, propel your business forward? Yeah. What would you say is unique or, or different about Sharewell, your approach to this modernization process that we're, we're seeing today? Yeah. So I think the unique part about, about Sharewell is the fact that, you know, we, we kind of, I don't know if it's lowering the bar or raising the bar, but the, mm -hmm. the person that can actually do very complicated tasks for Sharewell is different. You don't need, you know, an army of developers or data scientists or these things to, to actually piece together various cloud native services and then provide real results or whether that be through a dashboard or a reporting mechanism or working that into your actual workflow. So it's all codeless, no code, low code. These are all terms that are out there that apply to our product for sure. And then I think the technology is only as good as what it enables you to do, right? And so some of the things that I've been talking about prior to this, you know, ShareWell really uh, enables you to focus on your business processes and essentially like throw away the tools for the time being, you know, how, how do you need to run as a business and be most effective and provide the best services to your customers and start from there with the confidence that a tool like ShareWell will, will allow you to, you know, layer in all of those tools and then accomplish what you set out to do in the beginning. So. Hmm. You know, what would you see as some of the trends to look out for over the next one or two years? Well, I think it's it's already out there, but there's cloud native and then the serverless stuff is mm -hmm. I, I think really going to change the game as as well too. And especially once more and more products you know start to be built in that way, it's going to I think amplify some of the stuff that the cloud native started. <laughs> so in a, yep. in a good way and in a bad way. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely going to be something to watch out for coming up here. Yeah, we're we're definitely seeing a lot of customers in our space right now seem to be. They're taking on an early form of serverless addiction and they're, they're starting to like throw a bunch of workloads over there. Yeah. And now, okay, you know, how's that going to merge with the rest of their application suite? You know, yep. it remains to be seen. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. And back in my programming days, you know, if I didn't have access or couldn't see where things were going wrong, it made troubleshooting extremely hard. And, you know, cloud native stuff has done some of that, but I think serverless is going to amplify that too. So there will be, there will absolutely be some challenges to, you know, debugging and trying to figure out where, where things went wrong, but Hey, when it goes right, the stuff is beautiful, you know, and, and all of our businesses run well. Excellent. Well, any other comments you wanted to add uh, before I close this one out? <laughs> Not in particular. I, I appreciate the conversation and discussion and, uh, you know, I look forward to doing it again sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me, Steve, and, and glad we could have you on the show. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for listening to the Intellix podcast. If you have any questions or ideas for future episodes, feel free to drop us an email 
at PR at Intellix.com. Until next time, keep on transforming.